Jamaica's central bank digital currency is another of the many developments taking place in Jamaica. In this Jamaica video guide, I share with you what you need to know about this digital currency. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy learning about developments in Jamaica. CBDC is now a legal tender and is issued by the Bank of Jamaica, BOJ. BOJ has the sole right and authority to issue notes and coins in the island. However, in the case of CBDC, instead of live cash like dollar dollar bills, it's in a digital form. Instead of a bank account, your digital money is stored in a digital wallet called a CBDC wallet. You may hear people call it electronic money, electronic currency, digital money, or even cyber cash. Now, there are different types of digital currencies. Cryptocurrency is a type of digital currency, but it is issued by a private company, unlike central bank digital currency, which as the name suggests, is issued by a country's central bank and is also regulated by them. Therefore, Jamaica's central bank digital currency is issued by the Bank of Jamaica, which is Jamaica's central bank. BOJ started operating in Jamaica in May of 1961 and represents the core of Jamaica's financial system and is therefore responsible for ensuring its stability. So suppose I want this digital wallet. How do I get it? It should be much easier than opening a bank account. And if you've opened a bank account recently in Jamaica, you know how long and cumbersome the process can be. To get a digital wallet is much easier. According to the BOJ website, all you will need to provide is your name, address, TRN, and a valid government issued picture ID. And guess what? You don't need a bank account to get it. You can get a wallet from a number of financial institutions, for example, a commercial bank, merchant bank, building society, or even a payment service provider that has been authorized by the BOJ. And anyone can get it. Yes, even children. However, a parent or guardian would be in charge of getting a CBDC wallet for them. How is it different from a bank account? Unlike your bank account where you may earn minimal interest, the money stored in digital form will not earn interest. I guess that's one of the reasons they choose to call it digital wallet because you don't earn interest on money in your physical wallet. Unlike your bank account where there is a cost to maintain it at a financial institution, there is no such cost in relation to your CBDC wallet. So no fees for making payments or transfers. And how does CBDC benefit the financial institution? Well, for the bank, running a CBDC account comes at a decreased cost since the cost of holding and securing physical cash would be non-existent for digital currency. According to the BOJ website, adding this new currency to the financial system means that people who have been unable to open a bank account are now able to enter the financial system. Therefore, what this really provides is a way of... Well, the website explains it best. By spending, transferring, and receiving CBDC, these persons create a transaction history that can be used to gain access to loan financing. Need I say more? No. And where you would normally have to deposit money when opening a bank account, you do not need funds to get a digital wallet. Another great thing that was shared about having a CBDC wallet is that you don't need to be in the same place with the person you are transferring funds to or receiving money from. But hold on, isn't that similar to online banking? Yes, the only difference is the money is coming from your wallet instead of your bank account. Will CBDC replace cash, debit or credit card transactions? Currently, it's just another option, but more than likely, it will in the future. I mean, we are living in the digital age and everything is going digital. Now, 
imagine a world with a digital ID and digital money all linked together. Jamaica's central bank digital currency has cybersecurity features to prevent counterfeiting and hacking. Apart from you, only your wallet provider will have access to your account, and they can only share your information if required by the law in relation to breaches of anti-money laundering or counterfinancing of terrorism. I'm pretty sure other reasons may be tagged onto that in the future. So once you have opened a CBDC account at one of the financial institutions mentioned previously, you can now work on adding money to your digital wallet. You can do so by transferring from your bank account to your CBDC wallet, as it can be exchanged one for one with your physical cash. You can use a smart ATM to add funds to your wallet, you can transfer from one CBDC wallet to another, or visit your wallet provider to add to your digital wallet. Now, there is a QR code attached to your digital wallet, and when you want to do business with someone, you can either scan their code or input their wallet ID. And of course, if someone wants to make a payment to you, then you will provide them with the same information. Your wallet provider may even allow you to collect CBDC on your e-commerce website. For now, CBDC can only be used in Jamaica at institutions that offer this digital currency service. If at any time you need to turn CBDC into cash, you can either visit your wallet provider or use a smart ATM. I hope many of your questions about Jamaica's central bank digital currency, CBDC, has been answered. And I would love for you to let me know in the comments how you feel about this recent development. Learn more about our upcoming national identification system needs in the next video.